hi everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial in excel today we are going to learn one very useful function in excel that is the lambda function lambda function basically is used for creating a custom function that can be reused or called within formula in our book and here you see i have two examples to show you the lambda function here in the first example i have some item name their sales revenue in year 2022 and year 2023 I need to calculate here the growth percentage from 22 to 23 and here to calculate the growth percentage I have created one custom function when I press equal to and here I type growth here you see a growth percent formula is given this growth percent formula is made by using the lambda when I double click on this function new value and old value parameter are given in the new value i will click on year 2023 sales comma in the old value i will click on year 2022 sales close bracket press enter here you see the growth percentage is calculated when you click on the fill handle then drag it down you will get the growth percentage or degrowth percentage for every single items here if it is in the negative figure it is the degrowth similarly here to calculate the invoice price to distributor from the MRP of the product I have created a function press equal to then here you see invoice price function is given double click on the function and here in the MRP we have to click on the MRP value close bracket press enter and you get the invoice price to distributor from the MRP value simply drag it down and it is calculated so these kind of custom or user defined function can be created by using lambda so now let's start learning how to create the lambda function so here I am deleting these and also deleting these and here I am going to remove the already created function by going to formula tab then go to name manager and here the formula is given I will select these two then delete click OK now there is no any custom function so let's start with the process of creating custom function first of all we need to know what is the formula for calculating the growth percentage here the manual formula for calculating growth percentage is equal to open bracket then click on the year 2023 sales minus click on the year 2022 sales close bracket divided by year 2022 sales this should be multiplied with 100 so close bracket multiplication then 100 then before the first opening bracket put one more bracket now press enter and here you see the growth percentage is calculated so this formula we need to know first after learning this formula then here we have to write our lambda function so here I am selecting on this cell press equal to then type LAMBDA lambda then open bracket and here in the parameter or calculation first of all we need to define the parameters for the year 2023 or the latest year sales let's give a parameter as last underscore value then give a comma in the second parameter or calculation give the name for the previous year sales that is the first underscore value this name you can put anything that matches with your parameter here then give a comma now here in the calculation we have to write the formula to calculate the growth percentage so the formula here will be open the bracket then here we have to subtract the first value from the last value so here type last value when you type last year here it will suggest the parameter we defined so double click on this last value minus then type here first value which will auto suggest here double click on it then close bracket then put the division symbol that is the slash symbol now here type first value again first value now close the bracket then we have to multiply this by 100 type multiplication symbol 100 then close bracket and here we need to open one more bracket 
before the starting of the formula so here put one opening bracket now the formula is completed you can now select the whole formula this way then cut the formula by pressing ctrl x in the keyboard now press escape key in the keyboard to exit from the cut mode then go to formula tab go to name manager click on this and here click on new and here we have to paste the formula that we cut from the cell so select it delete it from here then control v to paste the formula now here in the name give the function name that is growth underscore percent now after doing this click on ok and click on the close button now the function is created in the name manager if you go and check here you see the growth percent function is created now you can use this function within this workbook if you go here in the growth percentage cell press equal to then type growth here you see the growth percent function is given double click on this now in the last value click on the latest year sales comma in the first value click on the previous year sales close bracket hit enter and here you see the growth percentage is calculated you can now go here in the fill handle drag the same formula down and here you see all the growth or degrowth are calculated by using a custom function so this is the way of creating custom function by using lambda now let's go to the second example where we need to calculate the invoice price to the distributor and for this example the standard formula for calculating invoice price to distributor from the MRP or the maximum retail price is this formula MRP divided by 1.16 divided by 1.13 divided by 1.08 divided by 1.04 and this formula is just for example this formula can be something other for your company so here the retail margin or the bat or the distributor margin wholesale margin everything is subtracted from the mrp to get the invoice price to distributor so here every time to calculate the invoice price to distributor we need to follow this formula so by using lambda we can create a function that can be easily used later so to calculate the lambda function here here in this cell press equal to type the lambda bracket open in the parameter let's give mrp give a comma and here in the parameter or calculation write the formula for calculating the invoice price to distributor the formula here will be mrp divided by 1.16 divided by 1.13 divided by 1.08 divided by 1.04 after putting the calculation here close the bracket now cut this whole formula by selecting press ctrl x press escape key in the keyboard to exit from the cut mode then go to formula tab click on name manager click on new button here remove this previous function then paste the function you created ctrl v now go here in the name and give the name for the function that is invoice underscore price now click ok and here the function is created click on the close button now you can simply use the function here to calculate the invoice price you don't need to follow the process of this calculation every time here you can simply press equal to type here the invoice price function here you see simply click on the mrp value close bracket press enter and here you see the invoice price to distributor is calculated you can simply use the formula for other sales so this is the way of creating the custom function by using lambda in microsoft excel if you want to download this practice workbook file you can go below in the video description and download thank you very much for watching if you want to learn more please subscribe the channel and also Turn on all the notifications to get the future video post updates. Thanks for watching this. We will again meet in next video tutorial.